Hey Misty, it's Kelly. Here's one of my junk journals. Don't be overwhelmed. I'm kind of crazy, alright? So, this is a composition book that I filled. And this took me a few months to do. These are just some samples of what you can do in a junk journal. Of course, you have envelopes in yours and it looks really good. I actually used a CD, googly eyes, a real safety pen. I mean, there's just all kinds of stuff you can do in your junk journal because it's yours. So whatever you want to do, right? This is an old drawing from one of my, my nieces. Um, <laughs> that's my little boy's drawing. That's funny. And this, I did use some scrapbooking embellishments, but <clears throat> some of the pages look like scrapbooking pages. But that's fine, because that's what I like. I don't like formal scrapbooks, even though I have about ten of them finished. Um, and sometimes I'll put a name on the pages that it reminds me of. This journal does not have a theme other than it's stuff that I like. So yours is going to have a camping theme. So, um, you know, of course, you'll want to have some stuff that's themed. And so what if it's girly, right? It's yours. That's a little envelope I made. Um, <laughs> we're over halfway through. Just be patient. Um, that's a quote that I like. Again, this is when I used to like scrapbooking more than anything else. But junk journaling, junk journaling and collaging is now my passion. Um, this was my very first one. <clears throat> it's just ephemera and stuff that I didn't want to get rid of because I just liked it. So we're coming to the end of this one. Um... And, of course, the junk journals or anything you want it to be. And I hope you have fun with yours. And I'll make a video of another one very quickly. See you later.